What's up guys, it's Chris here. Vivi did an AMA tonight that was absolutely insane. Like, I'm not gonna go over the entire thing in this video. I'm sure they're gonna tweet it out later, like in a thread like they usually do. And actually the resource I'm using for this video, Todd Father made a Google Docs form and he went through everything they talked about. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about two specific things they talked about that I have personally been waiting on for a very long time. And that's staking OMI utility and that's Master Collector Program. So without further ado, let's take a look right at it. Just one more time, a quick shout out to the Todd Father. This is his Google Docs form that I'll be using. This is his Twitter account. He's a huge collector, sold all of his Omi to buy collectibles. He has over 2,000 collectibles and 45 sets. So, dude definitely knows what he's doing. He knows his direction and he definitely takes part in these AMAs and really itemizes them well. So, big shout out to him. So the first thing I want to look into is the OMI utility. If you watch my other videos, you know that since the beginning, I bought OMI before I bought my first collectible. I'm big on OMI, big on their tokenomics. I've talked about it with so many people over the last few months. And you know there has been glimpse of the OMI staking utility in the past during AMAs, but we got more information tonight than we ever have before, at least anything that I've seen before. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run through this. There's going to be a staking program, obviously, like I, meant, uh, like I mentioned. To unlock the OMI-related features in the app, you have to be staking. So the way they worded it is there's going to be three tiers of staking. Uh, we don't know exactly how this is going to look. Obviously, anything I were to say past this point would be a speculation. I don't know how much it's going to be, but how that would look is let's just make up a number. Let's say you stake 100,000 OMI. That might be first tier. And then you say you stake 500,000 OMI, that might be second tier. 1 million OMI might be third tier. So I'm assuming that's how it's going to look. And depending on how much OMI you put up and you stake, that's what tier you're in. This tier is also going to cross over, I believe they said, to the Master Collector Program, which I'll get to in a bit, which can affect how many points you get for certain objectives and certain achievements, so daily and monthly and all that. But again, I'll get over that in a second. Secondary market trading with OMI, the... Um, list items in omi buy and sell directly with omi so that's going to be a big deal that's something again we've been waiting on for a while is people to be able to transfer their omi over to the app and buy collectibles with it i definitely think we'll see a rise in collectible prices once people are able to do this with their omi because people have omi that they're willing to spend omi drop lottery in addition to the master collector program lottery you can double your chances by staking omi and using points in the marketplace drop lottery so again, look at it in a second, but the master collector is going to do this thing to where you can like add up points and then you use your points to get into this like lottery system. Well, what this is saying is that if you're staking OMI, you kind of can double your chances because you're, you have your points and your OMI, you have like, I guess like two different programs working together to increase your chances on this drop lottery that we're going to discuss in a second. Lastly, there's premium market listings, purchasing accessories with staking OMI points. This last one's a pretty big deal too, and it's just really cool. So basically, if you're going to be staking your OMI, it will allow you to purchase accessories with your staking OMI points. Uh, we saw earlier that the Master Collector program has a similar method where if you put your points together, then you can actually buy accessories with said points. So that's gonna be really cool. You know, we don't exactly know how these accessories are gonna look yet, but I'd assume, you know, you can get a different cape for your Todd Batman, or you can get a different mask for or a spider-man whatever it is we don't know exactly yet but assuming you're going to be able to like buy these accessories and put them as props to your other collectibles don't know exactly but either way it's really cool because if you're just simply staking your omi which staking is just a passive thing you know you just put up x amount and you put it usually you would like put it in a pool this is going to look a little different i don't exactly know how their staking is going to look but basically at the time you're staking, it's probably not going to be accessible to you. So if you want to stake again, say 500,000 OMI that you don't want to, don't need to touch for a while, it's just kind of in the app, in the system, and just passively it allows you to get all these things that we just talked about and to be able to get accessories just for simply allowing it to be staked. Now time to get into the greatly anticipated Master Collector program. By the way, everything I'm saying in this video, again, was notes from Todd from this AMA that we had today. I took my own notes and they were even, they were very rough notes. Uh, so if in a few weeks when they actually drop these medium articles, which they will, 
they said they're going to drop the master clicker program article and the staking omi article i believe at the same time we'll see if there's slight variance you know, like don't hold me to this video because again we're just listening and taking notes so like you can't expect it to get like everything perfect but this is kind of around what we have and what we believe is going to happen this is kind of like the first like rough draft we've seen this detailed on the master collector program so from my understanding of listening in and just reading the spreadsheet there's going to be two main parts of the master collector program there's going to be levels and then there's going to be ranks and these two are going to be different so the levels you're going to score points you're going to earn points from a range of activities two category and then this is broken off to two categories one off points which you'll earn for new users go through tutorials purchase collectibles complete a set recurring daily points you'll earn every collectible you own every completed set you hold every secret rare each day towards your master collector level i don't know if it goes on to this later i don't remember but basically they're saying if you are an og let's say you've been there since january then they are going to go ahead and accumulate all the collectibles you bought all the ones you held and give you the points for those collectibles so if you've been here for a while and you're like man I'm, i missed out because you know i've been holding all these collectibles for nothing they are going to make up for that they said that in the ama tonight again i'm not sure if it's on this sheet or not there's gonna be daily oh but they're also giving a chance for new users which we'll get into in a second uh just to be able to like catch up per se so they have daily recurring points will be based on activity after 30 to 60 days and stop receiving daily points so basically if you're holding collectibles but you're not active at all then it's actually like a moving tier to where you can actually go down on the points um or if you're a newer user you have more time to catch up you can apply points retrospectively uh, this is what i said earlier og collecting since january then they will calculate any points and starting your vv journey uh, this is the, the ranks that I mentioned. It's going to go from like 1 to 20, and it's going to go from something to Grandmaster or Master Collector. They are not set in stone about that. You can have a low rank but a high level or a high rank but a low level. So that, that's very interesting, and that's going to be the how active you are now versus how much you hold and how much you held uh it's a little complicated to think and try to wrap my brain about around it right now. But yeah, so you can definitely have, be high in one and low in the other as you earn level points you can spend these points and use them without in the app to do things so this is when the accessories come in that we mentioned earlier as far as the staking you get accessories to be purchased which is really cool premium market listings points to have mar more market exposure drop lottery system you, which this is where it's explained users can wager their points in a drop lottery percentage of additions available for the drop lottery and you can wager the points to guarantee a collectible so basically how this is going to look again we don't 100 percent know yet is you're going to have x amount of points and you're like i really really want this Edo drop that's coming up even though like obviously that's today but in your future example uh i'm going to wager these points to almost ensure that i can get i can buy this collectible and there's only going to be a certain percentage of the collectibles reserved for this system and if you put those points to the side then you can be guaranteed that collectible i guess if you win the lottery and the more you put in the more higher your chances are from my understanding again this is super fresh and we're getting this from one single ama which you know some of us might have been a little bit distracted at the time it's hard to focus for two straight hours this next little section kind of just says again what i just said you choose an upcoming drop you wager points to guarantee a slot based on how many points you wager against others 15 to 30 minutes before the drop, the lottery will close. You will get a notification to tell you if that collectible will be reserved for you to buy without contest. So it just guarantees that's your collectible if you get it. Introducing Badger for certain achievements. So this is pretty cool to me for the sets. I've argued with a lot of people that I think we put too much weight on sets uh not that they're not important at all but uh it, i mean they are going to be important and this is one of the many reasons why they will be important is you're actually going to get like badges and uh, they said some of these badges will actually be like animated so that's pretty cool so let's say you complete your first set you might get a badge or right, you complete 10 sets you might get another one you know maybe 20 with that 3d badge or whatever it is and you actually decorate your showrooms with these badges so the last thing on the badges is that if you achieve a new badge, you actually score points from that badge. So another incentive for sets because you get these badges and then you get points. So you get a little bit of everything. So there is some some decent weight on completing sets. That's why a lot of people argue like Carter is a really good snag because it's, you know, a one collectible set right now. That's, I guess, relatively cheap. 
Highly encourage users to earn points and use them. Buy non-branded accessories in the V-verse with points. All right, so that's really cool. Again, just extra incentive to have a lot of collectibles, have a lot of sets, get achievements, get status, get all these really cool things. And there's a lot more we could talk about like in another video if you like this type of content. The last thing is, so after all those things that we just said, they're actually going to do some sort of like paid subscription uh, that's going to be a very small amount and what that's going to do is that's going to give you an advantage to earn more points and more rewards and maybe more badges whatever it is it's going to kind of boost you a little bit through the levels um, and that's what they were saying earlier with staking omi as well if you're paying for that subscription and you're staking omi I feel like you're going to have a really good chance to get up the levels faster. This like helps encourage new people to like hop on board and climb up the ranks. And this can get you more points, which as we've seen, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff, a lot of really cool stuff with your points. So for the small monthly subscription, like I just said, you get an extra percentage of points on all activity. You get exclusive content each month. Additional features, auto bidding, renting collectibles, displaying rarity and addition number of your own collectibles next to them in your showrooms, and you it will help early users to boost their ways up the levels. So that's really cool. I don't know about you guys, but what an AMA. I mean, we found out all this new stuff about the Master Collector. I'm really excited about it. As you know, as a whole, the collectibles have been dipping just slightly in the last month or so, maybe in the last few weeks. You never know in the NFT realm. But with all this great news, I just see the collectibles having another boost soon and because there's all these incentives to buy them and hold them and have more. Same with Omi. You know, Omi is getting more and more utility every week it seems like uh vv is getting more bullish every week so i'm just excited as i ever been i bought my first collectible back in early march i made my first omi video back in march and here i am today just as excited if not more excited than ever for the future holds uh, also just shout out to the team i mean thank you guys so much for taking time out of your schedules to do these weekly amas and answer questions from the community it's just really great to have a team that truly cares about you and i'm so bullish about the future of vv and i hope you guys are too i hope this was able to wrap up a little bit about the master collector program from the ama tonight and the omi utility please leave a like subscribe to the channel turn the notification bell on and i'll see you guys next time peace out